we finally arrive to our topic of equity and equity is probably the most abstract of the three balance sheet elements between assets, liabilities, and equity probably because it's the least tangible of the three and it's a little bit harder to conceptualize. I know the definition is a little ambiguous um, if you look at like Wikipedia or something but I've written this little this little blurb here up at the top which states that equity is essentially what belongs to the owners and I should also say it is the residual amount that belongs to the owners and we'll see what I mean by that as I go on with these illustrations and we'll just refer back to that so the first thing I wanted to note is that equity if you look at equity on a balance sheet it is separ or separated into two things the first being retained earnings which is an account that shows all of the accumulated profits since you started your company and the second account is common shares which shows the total amount of ownership in your company and there are a few other equity accounts but those are left for intermediate and advanced uh, financial accounting courses so the first thing I wanted to note is that when equity when equity increases year over year it's due to one of two things it can either mean that our common shares are increasing or we're issuing more shares or that uh, I guess you could say we're diluting our our ownership in the company because if you issue more shares there's a lot more shares and it makes sense diluting uh, and another way is if you increase uh, retained earnings so if you're accumulating greater profits your equity is going up if your equity is going down it means that you're repurchasing shares and you're contracting your uh, your your ownership or your common share base which means you have less shares in the company or it means that uh, you're actually accumulating losses so retained earnings is going down and this can cause equity to go down so I thought I would just cover that really quickly and I thought uh, a good way to describe what equity is is through a little example of a corporation so let's call this corporation ABC and we're gonna look at like a little balance sheet here let's say that they have four million dollars of, of assets they've got two million dollars of liabilities and they have two million dollars of equity and the, re the way I got this two million dollars of equity is because equity is the residual amount of assets of assets I should say after you subtract all uh, liabilities because if this company were to go bankrupt we would have to pay back the liabilities first and then all the leftover assets would be uh, for the owners so um, the two million dollars is equity and let's say there are four people who actually own this company so since there are four different people we're gonna have four equity stakes and two million dollars divided by four um, four owners since they all have an equal ownership we're assuming that their equity stake is worth five hundred dollars each so that's what belongs to each separate owner alright five hundred thousand dollars now let's let's run a scenario let's say that assets increase to five million dollars and we will say that we will say that liabilities stay the same at two dollars two million dollars and our equity since it is the residual I can't seem to get my cyan to work okay there we go since equity is the residual amount it is going to be three million dollars and since our equity has now increased and our ownership has not changed there's still four shareholders that means that we're gonna have three million dollars which can be split amongst 
four people. So now each owner has value or an equity stake worth $750,000. So they have just increased their their value and their their asset of their shares in this company by $250,000 each. So each of them have just realized those gains. So if they were to sell the company right now, they would pay back the the $2 2 million dollars of loans and they would each share $750,000. One other scenario is if the company is actually performing horribly and they are about to go bankrupt. In this case, if they have $2 million of assets and $2 million of, of liabilities, then that means there is going to be zero residual assets for the shareholders, which means it doesn't matter what percentage stake they have, they're all going to receive zero dollars for their shares. So that's how equity can change uh, based on assets or liabilities fluctuating because, because your equity stake is not a finite fixed sum. It can increase or decrease in value based on uh, the total assets since equity is just the residual amount and whatever is left over belongs to the owners. One last thing I wanted to do is just do a quick home buyers uh, home buyer example and let me just change my brush and let's say I am purchasing a house if you already understand equity you can skip this part but I just wanted to do one more thing and that is if I am purchasing this house and this is an asset for me it's worth four hundred thousand dollars but the thing is I'm not going to be able to pay all of this by myself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on a two hundred thousand liability or otherwise known as a mortgage and the remainder amount I am going to pay out of my pocket so this is my down payment on the house and this is what is known as my equity portion because this is my ownership interest because remember that equity is the interest that belongs to the owner so this is the value that belongs to me so if I were to immediately sell this house for four hundred thousand dollars I would pay back the mortgage and I would receive two hundred thousand dollars because that's what belongs to me as an owner that is the residual amount after paying back the liability and if the let's say the housing market starts performing well and it goes up maybe my house is now worth five hundred thousand dollars well because the mortgage is still the same since it's two hundred thousand dollars we just subtract that and my equity will be worth three hundred thousand dollars and that is the value that I will receive for selling my house so that's how equity can fluctuate and that is, is essentially what equity is it's the the residual amount after liabilities and it's sometimes called net assets because we always take total assets and subtract total liabilities to get our equity stake alright so hopefully that kind of cleared up what equity is uh, make sure to subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them below. See you guys in the next one. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.